Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of Cranky Gun Reviews. I am out here today at the range with my Bear Creek Arsenal upper and 22 Magnum with a 3 to 9 power Simmons scope. It has a Magpul AFG2 angled foregrip, a Magpul piece of pick rail on the front for a bipod, which I did not bring with me today. This one has a fixed Magpul MOE stock, which these are actually fast becoming my favorite MOE style stocks. They're very tight. They don't wiggle around. They don't rattle. And this has an MOE grip on it with the FDE um, trigger guard as well. So this one, I wanted to make kind of a little bit of a, you know, a two-tone gun. I like the FDE in the black or the OD green in the black. But when I bought all the parts for this, the FDE was the stuff that was in stock. And this is an arrow precision lower. I'm using my Black Dog Tactical magazines. And that's not encouraging. What the crap is going on today? Let me try that again. That was not very nice at all. I don't think the magazine was all the way seated. That's better. So... As I said, Black Dog Machine magazines uh, with some 22 Magnum. I think this is CCI Maxi Mag, and I'm just going to plink a little bit. So I made this one with a dedicated lower mainly because I didn't have anything that I could put the buffer spring and buffer that the 22 Magnum requires in here. So I decided to build a separate lower for this and uh, Aero Precision, great parts. The parts kit that I put in this is just a kind of knockoff. I think I bought it from Primary Arms. It was whatever their slightly uh, upgraded um, trigger group kit was. So works pretty good so far. And I also put a nice little FDE aluminum magazine release button on there, an extended mag release, just for fun, because I wanted, again, those little bit of accents here and there. Whoops. I guess these magazines need you to really firmly seat them. Well, as is the deal with rimfire, it's not always 100% reliable. Uh, usually, 22 Magnum works much better than most other ammo. And in this particular case, I had one that didn't want to fire, so I put it back in. Let's try again. I actually think that for some reason, they're not cycling the action properly. Because they're like, uh, well, today's not the uh, most productive range day. I had issues with my 7.6239 AR upper. The extractor on the face of the bolt broke off. Now I'm not having that great luck with this guy. Oof, that was a light load. Maybe it's somewhat ammo related here. Again, 22 Magnum, it is rim fire, so it's still not as reliable as center fire. I'm gonna try some different ammo. I have some uh, Winchester Varmint and Small Game here, Super X, which I've had pretty good luck with this stuff. The 22 Magnum is not nearly as bad as the 22 Long Rifle is in the Winchester ammo. So let me put a magazine or two of this stuff through it, see if it runs any better. And this gun I, I put together just because 
to me, uh, 22 Magnum is a fantastic round. It's a better varmint round than 22 Long Rifle. It has a lot more velocity. It's fun out of a short little pistol. And it's actually fun out of an AR as well, because you can actually, you know, use a standard AR lower. The only thing you need to do, as long as it's a carbine lower, is use the supplied recoil spring and buffer that Bear Creek sends you with the upper. And uh, you're good to go. So let's try some of these Winchester Super X rounds. Hmm. Doesn't want to load them. Oh, and the magazine wasn't seated. Yeah. These magazines definitely need you to push them in pretty hard. So what I'm going to do, I think, is lock the bolt open, load the magazine, and then close the bolt. Make sure the magazine's in there good. Something is not happy in this gun. I can tell you that much. Something's not right. It's either not allowing the bolt to go back far enough to cock the hammer, or something else is going on. Yeah, because it didn't even drop the hammer. For some reason, it's not cocking the hammer all the way on every round. So I was having issues with my Bear Creek Arsenal uh, 22 Magnum AR and I thought it might have something to do with the hammer spring. So it wasn't actually fully setting the hammer every time I fired it. So I swapped the lower from my 76239, which is another arrow precision lower. Now it works like I expect it to. unstable when I shoot, but now I have this gun running like it should, which makes me happy. I hate it when stuff doesn't work the way you expect it to, and my GoPro died, so this footage isn't going to be as good as it could have been. I'm trying to do the two-angle thing. I'm also trying to do, you know, a camera out closer to a target while I'm shooting to try to get some better footage, but I don't think people who don't make content realize how much work it is to put good content out on YouTube. And, you know, I've had people complain before that they feel like they're not getting what they paid for. And I remind them that YouTube's free. You don't even really have to sign up with an account to watch it. You only have to sign up with an account to either comment or post on YouTube. So uh, it always kind of cracks me up what people get bent out of shape about. But, you know, honestly, I'm out here having fun. I'm learning new things about firearms like certain uh, enhanced lower parts kits don't necessarily work with 22 Magnum and that the Bear Creek Arsenal extractor for the 762 by 39 bolt breaks pretty easily. But I have every confidence that they're going to replace it because they have excellent customer service and I bought several uppers from them and they've always treated me well. So let's put a couple more magazines of mini mags or maxi mags rather maxi mag through this guy and then i'll finish this video out and i apologize it's just me rambling and not having good luck shooting this thing today it seems but shot bolt hold open it's um it holds the bolt about an inch back but as soon as you pull the magazine out the bolt drops on it because it doesn't go all the way back and lock like a, a regular ar-15 would um, and i've noticed too when you're using these black dog magazines if you just shove the magazine and try to rack the bolt they don't always work that well a better approach would be to lock the bolt back put the magazine in and then release it or 
hold up on the magazine, pull back on the charging handle and let it go. Otherwise, it doesn't seem like the magazine seats when you rack the first round into the chamber, sometimes the magazine falls out. So that's at least been my experience. into the chamber. Yep. Must be cold out here today. <laughs> Put that one aside. Again, so holding up on the magazine while I float around into the chamber. is the Bear Creek Arsenal 22 Magnum upper. When it's paired up with a mil spec lower parts kit and the correct buffer spring and buffer for this upper, it works almost 100% of the time. I did have some issues again with some light loads or something like that, but thanks again for watching this edition of Cranky Gun Reviews. I want to thank you for coming out here and visiting with me. Make sure you support your 2A rights. Get out there and shoot. God bless America.